G'day and welcome to Nifrunners again, second time today. Um, I'm joined again by Algrid. How you doing, man? Hello, all. Tired as you are as well. 8 a.m. Loving this. Day one. It's going to be amazing. Day one. Hey, hey, it's five hours, mate. Five hours. <laughs> but um, yeah, so we've uh, we've taken some time to go and fly around with the Nomad. And um, what's your first thoughts, Algrid? Just, just your, your basic off the cuff, like, couple of words that, that you would use to my very first it. thought when i saw the ship zeon yeah and i uh tend to agree and the more time i spend with it uh the more i think this is now what was going to be uh, as Algris kind of alluded to the zion cargo ship um hmm. and it it feels like they, you you start to wonder why but it feels like they must have been doing it and then they've pivoted and and made it yeah. solid outland um it there's a couple of things that that are obvious but yeah go ahead Eric. yeah it, it's got the landing gear that you know and even as elwin was talking about it in inside star citizen he said oh it's got the landing gear just like the Knox, uh and that's the oh that's the xeon mm -hmm. ship and it you know it will always hover just mm -hmm. like the Knox. uh the blue lights on the bottom look like the Knox. um as you pointed out last night when we first started talking about the doorways even have that yep. kind of they look a, of an alien ship they have similar shape language to the corridors in the uh zion cargo ship from the squadron 42 leak yeah they have the same shape as the front of the nox engine yeah um yeah, and, and even the angles on the ship the, the profile kind of picks up the same angular shape that you see on the nox bike mm. completely it's totally different, different from the, totally different from the um uh the, the scout ship but the, the, the cockpit is completely different. It actually kind of feels kind of a polar in a way. Oh, not a polar, I should say mm. Zion, because we they did say originally this was going to be a different manufacturer. And we even talked to Piggles at one point, and he goes, it doesn't look like the Scout or the Nox in these ways. And then when he, we, uh, excuse me, uh, mentioned the different manufacturer, he kind of went, oh. So, yeah, it, it, it's zion-esque but not a polar-esque yeah. so it's yeah it's it's a very uh different thing and obviously a lot of people have mentioned that it's like a, a particular ship from ed i think it looks a similar shape as in a square or a diamond but when you start to look at it it's it's a, it's got a lot more polygons in it and it, it, it's got lots of little things that you just wouldn't notice um yeah the um, big thing for me that does look consolidated outland is that middle room that feels like yeah. it's been smacked in at the end. You mean the living quarters room? Yes. The one that they've kind of redesigned the uh, Mustang Beaters yeah. living quarters to kind of look like, and yeah. they look horrible. Yeah. I, I can understand when, when we did a Fix My Fleet with Emma, she was, I wish they didn't change for, for better. Mm. And I've got to admit, it, I went in there when you were showing us today, and it... it yeah, it, it looks Spartan. It looks. It doesn't look nice and cozy and homely mm. anymore. It looks. I just thought of another utilitarian one. Utilitarian and horrible. The, uh, yep. the doors themselves, when they open, are very alien. They um, a normal consolidated outland doors are just kind of straight. Um, the and stairs. These are kind of... Sorry, the ladder, not the stairs. The ladder yep. is very similar to how the weightless stairs of the, the Zion Apollo, except they're kind of like, they move and animate. And I would say they're almost mm. more Prowler-esque um, yep. or Tavar. I, I, I thought they, I thought the stairs did feel more Prowler than mm. Zion. And given that Elman worked on both Prowler and this, I, I'm, I'm guessing since he was mm. talking about it at Inside Sarsen, I'm guessing he's, he's kind of picked up that design language. I do find it interesting how Elwin kind of mentioned that they all oh, just radical change of um, aesthetic. No, that's them covering their butt, trying to tell us that yeah. that, 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 that this, yeah, that, this, this is a change. Yeah. Um, this because, is consolidated outland. <laughs> yeah, because we because we went also we went as far as to go look at um, concept art for the the Prowler, uh, not the Prowler, sorry, the Pioneer. And it is so different. It is not funny. It does. It doesn't fit the Mustang, and it doesn't fit the Pioneer. It. Uh, the only thing that is remotely like it at all in this ship is that singular room. And, yep. and um, go ahead. If you pull up that little graphic from the uh, Citizen Con last year, where we're talking about the, um, this was the 
uh, Zion uh, a small crater, small yes. hollow. And you look at the the middle picture there, and that kind of really does look very yeah. Much if you like, kind of stretch it a little bit sideways, it it's not that it, different. It really does kind of have a v image of this ship when it's landed. Mm. So that yeah. the landing gear, yeah, all it, the bits um, and pieces say. The one other, th the only thing that kind of does steer a little bit away from this is that it was meant to be a hull B competitor, and this mm. does, this has half the cargo of the hull A, so it's definitely yeah. a lot smaller in cargo. All right. Well, we've talked about the look of it and the feel of it. Let's talk about, um, obviously, how she, um, how she handles. On, well, I was, okay, we can talk about that, but I think that kind of gives a, some stuff away. So I'd like to actually talk okay. about like where it sits between the Avenger and the Cutlass on paper. Because when we before we f jumped in this ship, we were like kind of excited. And um, oh, that probably gives it away a bit too. Oh, no, but yeah, yeah. $20 <laughs> up from an Avenger, $20 up, you know, $20 down from an Avenger, $20 up from a, a Cutlass Black. Perfectly placed. Mm -hmm. Um but, so sorry, it, go on. Keep going. No, no, that's right. I, um, so it's kind of like it, it is on paper. It does sit in the middle of the two, but I yeah. would almost say the Cutlass and the Avenger are more like each other than this is. This kind of pulls more towards the utilitarian cargo part of the ship, yeah. and I think that is obvious when you look at it from the outside, going, "Oh, it's got twenty-four SCU," but also the way it handles. Um, I crashed into a station when I thought I was stationary. This thing skids like crazy and 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 it takes a really long time to slow down and quite a long time to pick up and it doesn't have a very high top speed for a ship of its size. It only has 900. Now to put that in perspective, the MSR Star Runner that just came out goes 1200 and that's a, a, a medium sized ship. So it, it's quite um, quite slow. Um, well, and I, I think I think I the was Star a, Run is actually close to the large because it, it kind of it's 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 a, it's a medium medium pad. Um, yeah. But this ship this ship was only going like when I was coming down it was only going like two hundred in atmosphere and I was still having trouble uh, comparable to other ships of its size to actually rotate it to fit into the hangar like it was trying to skid in atmosphere. Um, that, yeah, so it, it's just kind of weird. The way the landing gear works, too, is a little bit buggy. If you have something underneath it, like a rock, it'll start flickering and stuff. Um, yeah, it's, The it's, other it's thing that weird. also makes me think that this was originally the Xeon ship is in the video, the mm -hmm. Whitley's Guide video, Oh yeah. when it takes off, you see the landing. You see they've actually experimented with putting regular standard land, landing gear on it, and they've decided, no, nah, it's no good. Let's just go back to what we had. That's, that's what it feels mm -hmm. like. It, or it wasn't finished and they did the ad beforehand. This, the, the, you just don't know. But, yeah, there's definitely yeah, and, a very big difference between what we got and in that video because there's, there's yeah. different landing gear. Um, I just I just got the feeling. It, it, yeah, it's just, it just seems – I'm, I'm tempted to say lazy, but yeah, that, that would be, I think, overly harsh. Um, uh, but it certainly got a lot of language from, from Zeon and um, yeah. it doesn't doesn't feel consolidated to me. And while it's got those three size guns on paper, because of the skiddiness of the way this ship moves, um, you yeah. can pivot very easily to stay on target, but you couldn't follow something very easily in this ship. Like, I, I actually think you'd be outmaneuvered by, say, uh, an Avenger Titan um, or another and, combat esque ship. Yeah. And this ship also chews through the hydrogen. So I flew from Microtex, yeah, Microtex to Eurotropy. That'll be the, balanced. That'll be that'll back be to the station little, and out yeah. to Cleo. And I was out. Um, of, I was out of hydrogen. So yeah, um, yeah, that, that'll be fixed. I'm not worried about something like so, that. So, so um, just and, just in terms of the, the current patch, it's it's certainly. They shutting. could also have uh, changed the way it flies too. Let's be honest. That that could be fixed. But as it is right now, it is quite skiddy. I hope they change it. And if they, like, for instance, say this handled like, let's just play a hypothetical here. Let's say it flew exactly like a Titan. How would you think about the ship then? Because for me, it, it does change it quite a bit. If it, well, if it, it's, it feels, in a sense, it feels agile, but it feels skiddy. Yeah. And so if it, if it wasn't, uh, if it flew more like an Avenger, Mm. Uh, you'd feel this would be a capable fighter, and yeah. but I think 
Elwin even touched on that when he was talking the other day. He said, you know, mm. it's got size for a gun, so it's it, it's got a bit of punch. It can hold its own, but it's not a fighter. So he even said it, it doesn't fly like a fighter. Yeah. You're not going to outmaneuver and dogfight, but it's got mm. enough to defend itself. And I think that's a fair cop a, a, uh, a big for thing, a merchant ship. A big thing you do gain over the uh, the Avenger is the tractor beam, um, which yeah. you can see. Me and Algrid have noticed if you look at the back tail it, it seems to sit in that, just above that central... You can almost see it below the N and the F in the image below, mm. um, but it, it's facing backwards. So basically, if you're tractor beaming something, you're going to have to fly up, turn around, and then and then tractor beam stuff. So um, it's not a forward-facing tractor beam. No, um, it would be one for the back. And that would, that would be similar to the way the um, Cutlass was originally built as having the tractor beam in the back, so you could tractor stuff in. So it's mm. very much that. So... It is kind of taking some of the design language and discussion they had about the Cutlass and also stuff from the uh, from the Avenger and kind of wishing them into this this alien mass. Mm. Now, um, now, Algrid, something else you found out while we were in the uh, in the persistent or not the live universe, whatever you want to call it, um, yep. was you went and brought some cargo and the cargo did. didn't appear. I think yep. that also kind of lends to the fact that it's it, it's been rushed and it, 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 yep. or pivoted or whatever. Um, to me, it yeah, this this ship seems to look like it was made for this sale, and it was pushed out the door fairly quickly. Like they probably couldn't get the stuff finished for the Zion stuff, so and they needed a ship for the sale, and this was the forward as most ship they had so they just changed it to consolidate outland and pushed it out the door that is the feeling i get with this ship and i yeah, actually, I, actually I, reckon in the course of time we'll probably find out that's what happened something along those lines yeah. well as i as i said and uh, you know i i wanted to say lazy but i felt that was too harsh but when i first saw and and as i were talking about the ship in inside star citizen yesterday i was feeling that feels lazy you know, the fact they've just got the hover landing gear from Consolidated Outland, it's totally mm. alien to what they do. It just felt, it, it felt lazy. Yeah. Um, and, and, and I know that's harsh because it, it's certainly not. It, it mm. certainly does have that Xeon feel. And the more, you know, yeah, it, mm. it, it yeah. I'm, I'm not sure how to, how to put that in the yeah. words, but yeah. So we need to talk about the LTI token part of it too, which I just realized we forgot to talk about in our... <laughs> oh, um, AIA Expo yeah, stuff today as well, but that's fine. Um, so you re you probably remember this better than I. It, it, there's an upgrade that you've a warborn upgrade you've got to purchase to make it LTI. Do you remember the yep. price? Because I've price completely from, forgotten. I think the uh, I think it was from, ten to fifteen dollars, wasn't it? I think the right, well, certainly one of the guys priced it from a cyclone, and I think it was mm. five dollars. Yeah, so, I'll have to forgive us. You at it was uh, fifteen dollars yeah. or sixteen dollars fifty. I'll have to so forgive us. We've 15. been up fairly late, so yeah. Um, but yeah, it's it's somewhere between ten to fifteen dollars, and it's war bond, so you've got to pay cash. But once you pay cash, that'll give you LTI on that ship. That might be something they're trialing, which could be kind yeah. of interesting. Having to pay cash to get LTI, but that that's it's, that's kind of and, interesting. And that means if you've got if you've got a. Uh, a P fifty two sitting there that doesn't have LTI or got yep. six months or six months insurance. You could get this, you could get the war bond mm. uh, CCU, apply it, bang, you've now got an LTI token. Yes, it is the nomad, but if you want to go up to something bigger, yeah, you've got that ability to have that that ship with with uh, LTI. Now I know there'll be people who get into the chat and say LTI is nothing, ignore it, but and. CIG have said it will be a very cheap, very easy thing to get and keep, but it is still a security blanket. Just a, yeah, it's a nice to have. Um, and if you want that security pl blanket for ten dollars, if you're ten fifteen dollars more power to you. Um, there was a couple of skins for this as well, Algrid. Um, what what are your, t your take on the skins for seven dollars? Um, I, I think all the skins are overpriced. Um, yep. To be honest, the I think for us, uh, with the Australian tax, they're seven dollars fifty. Seven dollars and seventy cents. So, so seven dollars is yep. what you'll be paying, um, and that seems a bit, a bit steep. And I dread to think what say the skin for uh, an Orion. Or well, we had a, a 
we had a skin for the Carrick last year that was twenty five dollars, mm. and that was basically the same skin but with white panels on it, and it cost twenty five dollars. We do know from the files that the skins for the Perseus so. Thirty thirty five dollars. I'm kind of yep. expecting, which is almost the price of a full price PC game, especially if you buy an indie game. Um, yeah, that's, well, so that's quite expensive. A, at thirty five dollars, it's the price of star, almost the price of Star Citizen with a an Aurora. So it's actually forty nine. Actually, back in the day, there were twenty five dollar Auroras with the game, and it came with both. Uh, the single player and forty two. That's yep. a long time ago. So that yeah, it is uh, a long time ago, but but, but that it, still it, shows you that, how far we've come. And it, it shows you into just reinforces that point you were making, doesn't it? It's yeah. um um yeah. So it's a it's a weird trip. I also we also did hear from people in, and this will be something that does get repaired later on, and yeah. it does relate to what we talked about in the IAE video not long yeah. ago was that this ship is a smaller ship that can actually take the uh, rock mining vehicle in the back. There was, um, it does fit, and the cyclone does technically fit as well, but when the elevator goes up, apparently it's uh, destroying the cyclone, and yep. it's making the rock jump around all over the place. So don't... So the rock is getting yeah. wrecked as, as um, you're flying and moving. Yeah, so, so we, won't, we won't know until... Um, it probably needs a bit of bug fixing. Again, it's showing that this seems to be have been rushed. Um, so, it, if I it's were certainly not as polished, if I as, was someone that did. was yeah, if I was someone that was um, looking to buy this ship as my only ship or my first ship to jump in the game, I would be very cautious. But again, being a new person, you might not know it's been rushed. So it, it's a it's yeah. a weird one. Um, yeah, I. Look, if I was, if I was, if someone said to me, which ship should I get, this or a 135C, and you know what I think about the, the yeah, 100 yeah, yeah. series, mm. I would recommend them to get the 135C at present. It's a safer bet, yeah. But I, but I, I think our recommendation is probably going to still fall back to the Titan, no? Yeah. Uh, oh. yeah which has been ours for, God, five years now. Um, yeah. So yeah, I, I would yeah I, I'd still say the Titan's the safer bet. It it um yes you lose the cargo, but it, you've just got more flexibility. Like you can still defend yourself in that. I feel that if you got caught out in this, you would struggle to get away. Yeah, because it's it's got that slow skittishness. Uh, slow ability. It it does have good quantum travel. It doesn't use much quantum fuel. It does seem to go quite fast with the, with the base loadout in quantum. Mm -hmm. So you might be able to quantum away kind of MSR style, but uh, at the moment she chugs hydrogen yeah. fuel like so, all new ships seem to. So, Algot, I think we'll kind of leave it there, but I think you would agree yeah. with me that it is there's a lot that's going to change with this ship because it feels like it's been pushed out early. Is that your kind yeah. of consensus as well? Yeah, I... I, I it does have that feel of being pushed out. There's so many yeah. things that feel broken or not working. And didn't they, isn't it, at the moment, everyone's got this to fly. Isn't that right? Yeah. Uh, yeah and, and part of a reason for that is because um, I heard, you know, it. So the recommendation is go fly <laughs> it and see what you think of it. Because quite honestly, it's a no brainer. I think you yeah, guys it, will come to the same conclusion as us. And uh, let us know in the comments. Have you flown the Nomad? Are you having the same issues? Is your cycle, or not your cycle, but your rock exploding? Did you successfully get it from one place to another? These are some things I would like to know. If, uh, have you been able to repeat what me and Algrid have said? Do you find that this is a Zion ship ripoff like we do? Um, yeah, like it's just, it, it, it's way not consolidated outland. It, it's, yeah, it, it just, and they would have sold more as an alien ship. So it tells you that this has been rushed. They've gone, we are going to lose money because it's not alien. And then just pushed it out because they needed something for the sale. They needed something for day one of the sale. You know what um, it reminds me of, Agrid? The privateer, when that came out, the same, yeah. it, it smells of a rush job all over again. Uh, yeah, I I really have to say it does feel rushed. It it's all of those little things, the fact that it's sluggish, the fact that it's the cargo doesn't show, the fact that the it's got the alien, it's alien feel, and 
all those things the fact that it wobbles when it's landing the fact that you know you name it it's Mm. lots of little scenes that just keep saying even even the branding of where the um the console outland is written is all embossed textures they're not they don't have plates or anything like like on some of the other ships where they're a lot more elaborate like where it's actually a 3d modeled anvil logo or something like that yeah none of that it's all uh normal mapped you know uh pop textures as in it's it's not full 3d they're all they're all flat um yeah uh, it's it does it, kind of have yeah. that empty feel yeah but yeah it's but as as you said try it fly it you've you've got it at the moment because it's uh everyone's been given one yeah um if you don't like it and you're looking to buy a ship spend 20 dollars left get the avenger i don't you think, think you i don't think the look of it's going to change but I think they will fix the ship. And I'm disappointed that it's not Zion because I reckon it would have been so much better as Zion. And I actually think Consolidated Outland as a whole is going to suffer because this ship is in their lineup. Because if they start to incorporate this look into the other Consolidated Outland stuff, it's going to change the entire style of what Consolidated Outland was or was going to be. How does does even the canopy of this ship compared to the canopy of, say, uh, the Mustang. They're completely different. I I would have covered the story in law where, and you're a law person, I would have said, oh, the the vote with the election because of Addison has basically made that Consolidated Outland are now working with this new Zion company and they've made this new ship. Boom, the first thing to bear fruit. But they didn't even go there. They didn't even think of it. they haven't gone there. Just a, a... and and you've got you know you've got the hooks of the treaty which would have given you grounds for that. You've got Addison pushing for you know the Zion mm. treaty and making Zion more popular. Yeah. Uh, you've got uh, lots of things you could hang hooks on, and yet at the moment we don't have anything. It's just a hey, this new ship from Consolidated Outland. How wonderful it is, and it it feels like they've ripped off proprietary tech from Zion. You can tell me and Argrid are a little bit torn with this ship like we kind of want to like it but we're kind of annoyed like we feel like we've been cheated and it's been rushed um let us know in the comments below as well what you think of this because once you see it it's very hard to unsee it and every person we've talked to they they they're very defensive at the start they're like no and then they you you quickly as you show them pictures of the Nox and the internals and you and you see how it's put together even when you look at the map of it from above uh, that was in the leaks discord yesterday they had mm. a color-coded map it doesn't look like a console it looks alien the way it all sits out like a starfish it's just really strange and, and the yeah and and, mm. and the, even that cargo bay kind of looks mm. like it's like attacking you know so yeah. maybe that's something that'll come maybe there'll be variants where we'll kind of swap that out but yeah it's yeah. at the moment it's a, it's it's disappointing it you like it yeah yep, yeah that, that, definitely try it out be, that's probably the, the best way to summarize that. Disappointing. Um, yeah. All right, then. Uh, if you like this video, please like this video. It helps us out a lot, especially uh, this week with a lot of stuff in the algorithm uh, because we're going to be doing videos every day for the sale. Uh, we will probably do a buyer's guide on any other new ships that show up, so probably expect one for the Perseus uh, in a week's time. Um, other than that, Agrid, he's been Agrid. No. I've been executed. He's been executed. And we're out of here. Take care. God bless and be well. Catch you in the next one.